Welcome back to Fallacy February with 90 Philosophy and Carnities.org. Today we're going to be looking at the fallacy known as begging the question. This is a fallacy for circular reasoning. Let's take a look. So, begging the question is also known as petitio principi. There are three versions we're going to be looking at, leaving out a shaky key premise that begs the question, what is that premise? Conclusion of the argument restating the original premise or the only premise, and the conclusion based on a chain of inferences, with that conclusion being the first premise or one of those premises in that long chain of inferences. These are often valid, but they're still fallacious, because while A, therefore A, is valid, it's not terribly convincing. Let's take a look. So, murder is wrong, therefore abortion is wrong too. This is, of course, an example of the first problem, because we've left out a key shaky premise that abortion is murder. A lot of people probably disagree on that. If someone could not see the future, then they would not be standing on the street corner claiming that the world is about to end. Therefore, someone standing on the street corner claiming the world is about to end can see the future. This argument is fallacious because all that the conclusion is is just kind of a reorganization through the rule of transposition of that premise. It's the same statement, just organized a little bit with the negations in different places. And it's definitely not convincing. Nike makes the best shoes in the world. A company that makes the best shoes in the world can pay its employees more. Companies that pay their employees well can hire the best people. The best people will make the best shoes, therefore, Nike makes the best shoes in the world. Note that the conclusion is the same as the first premise, and that the argument relies on that first premise. So if we haven't already accepted the conclusion of the argument, we're not going to be convinced by the argument. That was begging the question. Also today we're looking at universal, particular, affirmative, and negative. Yesterday we had weak analogy and quantifiers and copula. Tomorrow we're going to be looking at the fallacy of complex question and the universal affirmative statement. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.